Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 4th of June and this time I'm bringing some news regarding The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, and the Xbox One version to be specific, and even more specific, the digital version. Uh, some Xbox One owners were actually find themselves unable to play The Wild Hunt if they had bought the game digitally. Now basically both NeoGAF and Reddit were full of posts basically saying that booting the game on Xbox One resulted in a rather indecipherable error message, that being error OX87DE2726. Now Microsoft was pretty quick to acknowledge the matter on the Xbox support site, basically said that they were <coughs> excuse me, working to address this and they'll fill you in as soon as they know more and then someone else posted that was from Xbox support in Reddit saying that the error was a licensing problem. Now it did take them a little while to sort this out, but a few hours down the line, Major Nelson actually posted in the original Reddit thread where people were very loudly complaining, not that I blame them, that the problem had been addressed and the problem should resolve itself for everyone very soon. Now, he posted that about eight hours in my time, UK time, according to Reddit, so I would imagine that the problem has been resolved for pretty much everybody. And if it hasn't actually worked yet for you, then just sit tight. They have sorted it out. I'm guessing just the fix is going to take a while to take actual hold. But if you're still having issues, I suggest you contact them and let them know. Because, of course, they are under the impression, as far as I know, that the issue has actually been addressed. So the issue has been resolved, as I said. Do the message them if it isn't working for you still. Now, obviously... People were very upset by this, and I don't really blame them because, well, they were kind of wondering why on earth is a problem on Microsoft's end with their servers or whatever happens make stopping me from playing my single-player RPG? And that's exactly what I would have been thinking. And a lot of the complaints are, well, you know, I've just got in from a long day of work. All I wanted to do was play The Witcher 3 for a couple of hours, and now they can't because... reasons their servers aren't working so you can't play your single player game. It is odd. I mean, yeah, you could argue but oh maybe there's some communication that has to happen between the Xbox One and, you know, Microsoft servers because it's a digital version and yes, that's possible. Of course, I'm purely speculating. But the thing is, Steam is all digital. I have hundreds of games on Steam. And while Steam does sometimes have a bit of a hissy fit, but it never stops me from playing my games for hours on end. Never. And never has server issues stop me from playing. Because you can always just play offline. Because if it's a single player experience, of course. If it's on like a free to play whatever, whatever, then of course not. But with a single player game, I don't think I've ever had that happen in all my time of PC gaming. So I think people are understandably upset and I don't really blame them, to be honest with you. It's, gra it's great that they've sorted it, but still. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.